will go to the smaller ones. So these are answer the following questions, some long descriptive questions we are taking. I will try to understand the concept using these questions and security safety measures. This is the whole topic about your computer also, about internet also. So first is while working on the computer, you notice that the system is working very slowly. Files are corrupted. Default home page on the web browser has changed. Lot memory is consumed and unnecessary pop-ups are coming. What can be the probable reason? So that means whenever you open your computer, work on your computer, it's working very slowly. The normal running, it has say, you know, you can see the considerable, considerable difference in the, the working. The home page, say, if you open, say, browser, Chrome or Firefox, it's behaving in appropriate. Memory is also too much of a being uh, used up and various pop-ups are coming. You don't even want them, they are just coming. So what are the probable reasons? First thing is the computer systems, they are if it seems that it is affected by spyware. Spyware, what will happen? See, anything which it comes in a computer will be a software, will be an application. So anything with where, it can be spyware, it can be malware, it can be adware. So everything where means something is connected to this uh, virus, worm, Trojan horses, spyware, adware, etc. Spy means jasusi. That is, you are trying to sense trying to find out about a person or any object without him knowing. Okay, so this would have come from pen drive or from internet. Spyware means Jasusi being detected by yourself. So it, it monitors the activity, what you do on the internet and also transmit the data or information that you are using or implying or executing on your computer or your smartphone. So it may take your email addresses, the passwords and the credit card numbers. That means all the banking and uh, money re related activity, CVV of the card. So the message is transmitting by the software. It's first spying on you and then also sending the information to uh, those malicious people who has made this spyware. So malware, you know, you have heard about this malware. Anything which has malicious intent, wrong intention, not so good intention. So spyware is a form of malware that hides on your computer. It may hide where you will never know, monitors your activity, what are you doing and it steals, it steals your very information which is sensitive to you, which may hurt you a lot like your money information, bank details, passwords, etc. Since, uh, you know, using internet, this bandwidth also sometimes it will eat, it will eat up. You have very important data on your computer. How will you ensure that this data remains safe? So you have a computer. Now, whenever you in a, connect to internet, there are so many, you know, intelligent, smart and some dubious and bad people around who would like to, you know, without only using their technical knowledge, they will want to hurt you or they want to get money or some disgruntled person, he want to, you know, hurt your organization. That is, he want to make, hurt your, how, how do the people hurt you? They can't hurt you physically, they will hurt on the data. So whenever you have a house, what do you do? You make a strong door, you remain, you want to remain safe. If anyone comes here, you want to stop him. First, there, there will be two layers of gate. So there you safe, you do all things to make your house safe. You want to stop people who are not with good intent to, to be away from you. Similarly, in computer, you are doing everything. So, computer is your house, is your home now. 
you have your kids, you yourself, you have your, you know, everyone there. Same, same way you have some payment going on on your, on your system. Some personal important data is being there, which can be used by others. So you need to safeguard them also for that. First of all, you need to have an antivirus software, security software. Antivirus like Norton Antivirus, Symantec, Avira or McAfee, Quick Heal. There are so many antivirus. First of all, you need to be very sure that any virus which is embedded in certain program or application, it needs to be stopped. It needs to be stopped from entering your computer. Second thing is beware of email attachments from unknown sources. Men especially, they are honey trapped by these mails. Sometimes all others, they are honey trapped by money allurement. Means they will allure that this, this, this is important, this is urgent and you will get that, this much of money and open this document. When you open this uh, attachment, it will be all gone. You know, this may be virus, worm, trojan horses, you never know. Then do not randomly download material from website which has not been checked for security. There are so many websites which are insecure but when you google it, you will, you will come across certain sites where you go and it will, it will be all, uh, you know, bad things which will come into your computer. I am bad saying bad things that can be virus, worms, trojan horses, etc. Everything which can hurt you. So, HTTP, if you work, it will show that this is not a safe website. HTTPS has to be there. Okay. Antivirus is also, you know, basic work of total security antivirus are for internet security, for a computer security, virus security, malware, spyware, adware, like this. But 99% you are being saved, 1% you have to make effort. Never propagate hoax or chain mails. Right now, you know, on Facebook and and uh, Insta and WhatsApp, we just send the messages and sometimes send messages which are not even true. So don't do that because if you haven't seen it, you haven't tried it, you are sending the emails which may hurt other people also because they trust you. Frequently back up important data and files. As I said, 99% virus will, will uh, save you from all bad happening. What about 1%? So just keep your data because everything, you know, on, on a computer, on, on a work system, the, the main thing is data and files which you have worked upon uh, years now. So better to back up. If something happens, you have something in the backup. There are certain uh, applications and there are certain things which can encrypt your data and keep your data in, encrypted so that others which may try to hurt you, they may not be able to do it because it is already encrypted. So let me just summarize. Add a password protected screensaver. Have password wherever it is possible. Encrypt your hard drive. It is all, it's always possible now. Add an antivirus. Always set a password. Update your software every time from the credible source, not from others. Back up your data always. Differentiate between virus, worms and trojan horses. Virus, worms and trojan horses. Now these all are these, these are creating a lot of uh, confusion in our mind sometimes. But the intention of them is to hurt your data, to hurt your computer, or to do something which is not acceptable to you or not even thought about you. So the idea is these are bad. These are computer programs only. There is nothing else coming. It's not a not proper virus. It's just a computer science. People know this is an application. This is just a software code. Okay. So virus is what? It's a computer virus. It's probably hidden with another program. That is, it always needs a backpack. It will not come by itself. It will come with some other program, some other file, some other stuff, other application. And it starts destroying the data. It starts doing all the malicious actions which you will see properly in your computer that oh this is happening there must be a virus. So normal activity will not be done. This will show you that I am there and computer viruses as I said they, are, they don't come by themselves they are man made. People like us they make it. Worms are quite similar to viruses 
but they don't come with any computer programs they are themselves means they are self made and then they copy themselves how when through uh, through different systems are connected so they basically use the network connection to replicate themselves so they are a separate entities as i said virus will always backpack with someone virus will back backpack with someone it will not be an independent identity or independent program but the worms on the other hand they are separate they don't need any other program to be piggy back upon and they won't attach themselves to other files or programs they will come by themselves try to replicate especially through network connections trojan horse you know if i take you to a story it's a very you know ancient story that a uh, king wanted to get over the other king and because he was not ready to or what able to do that he sent a horse a wooden horse and inside that horse these soldiers were there so they thought oh this uh, this is a ho horse big horse there will be nothing inside and in the night they this uh, opened and everyone from the inside horse came outside and they won over the the other other king so trojan horse is a program that claims that okay i will get rid of your problems means he will try to show masquerade that he is a good person or who is a good program it is a good program so trojan horse does not attach itself to the file like uh, what we have seen in virus case it neither replicate itself like worm worm do it through network they are independent programs so trojan horses are unlike these two they will provide unauthorized access to your computer to someone whom you don't want and they are spread mostly through internet downloads and online gaming programs that is if you don't want someone to enter inside but he will please you he will make you such emotionally or you know behaviorally that he will allow him same is the trojan horse and finally they mostly affect the targeted computers through internet downloads and these online gaming so let me give you a brief idea now again what does it do virus inserts malicious code into a program or data file so it has to have something to to be piggy back upon worm uh, it sees wherever the application has your program has some vulnerability some loopholes in the operating system also trojan horse they show different faces good face and inside they are bad so masquerade as performing a benign action good action but they are malicious so what does it do the you, you understood about these three now coming to how does it spread to other computers so virus they the user transfers infected file to other devices worm they will use network to travel from one computer to another trojan horse horses they use user transfer means trojan will be transferred by you who is going to transfer you trojan horses okay so it will not be transferred by itself like the worm will go by itself to the in the network so does it infect a file virus yes worm won't affect another file trojan may may not but virus will affect the files worm will replicate itself it has another way of attacking does there need to be a user action for its spread yes virus we we spread trojan we spread worm we don't spread it's it it spreads by itself so what i'm trying to suggest here is that you can secure it using antiviruses now how is a hacker different from a cracker so these are hacker and cracker one is friend one is foe one is not your friend so hackers are good programmers gifted programmers from their childhood who gain access to the computer on network to showcase security loopholes problems vulnerability to the administrators so if if you have made something you need to check it that whether you have made it or good or not so you need to be tested these hackers will help you but the crackers are not that good people these are people these are gifted programmers or programmers who had bad intentions these are bad people they are doing malicious activities cracker have 
only goal to destroy your data and to get monetary gains, personal monetary gains. They want money. They want to destroy things. So let me just give you a comparative idea. Hacker will never damage the data. Hacker will delete or damage their data. It, it, is, it has only that intention. Hacker, the ethical professionals, they are ethical. They are, you know, they are helping others, mainly the companies. So these are OS you have made and these are loopholes. Please patch it. Crackers, these are unethical people. They are basically doing illegal tasks. You know, all fingers are not same. So they are bad, bad apples everywhere. So these are crackers who are bad apples in the computer science or programming or internet field. Hackers have, they may have legal certificates. That is, they are ethical hackers. People are doing these courses for being ethical hacker. If they are able to help, they get good money also. And because they are gifted programmer, they know where the other person has done mistake. Cracker, the motive is to stay anonymous. That is, they don't want to show their identity. Hacker, they are good people. They hack for knowledge purposes. They are good people, hack for good knowledges. And Cracker, they are evil person who breaks into a system for benefits, for money or sometimes just for fun. Now, taking to multiple choice questions, we have understood most of the things now. Which of the following is an antivirus program? So, Norton, Quick Heal, K7, all of these are antivirus program. All these are antiviruses. They will stop, they will try to prevent your system from the viruses. All of the following are examples of real security and privacy threats except. That is, these are the examples of real security and privacy except privacy threats except so the answer is see spam virus worm what are these except you have to say so the answer is hackers spam virus worm they are security and privacy threat hackers are not they are your friend they will try to find out loopholes or problems in the in the program or os so that the oh, hackers will call they will see these, these are the hoopholes, these are the back channel you have opened, these are the vulnerabilities and they will check and you know solve or will help you to make a better software, better operating system, hackers. So this security system, the hackers will try to infiltrate because they have that you know gifted uh, thing. Torture horses are very similar to virus in the matter that they are computer programs that replicate copies of themselves. This is false. See, worm will replicate itself through, especially through internet, uh, this network connection. Viruses are coming with some other program. They don't come by themselves. They are coming by other programs. And then they will try to hurt your computer, you know, breaking your data, breaking your other things, you know, which are important to you. Dash monitors use this activity on internet and transmit that information in the background to someone else. This is a spyware. Spy means Stealing your data, trying to sniff your data without your, your uh, acceptance. Malware is malicious activity, ad is all the ads you don't want. Spyware is jasusi, detective, being detective but with bad intentions. So, spyware monitors your activity on internet and transmit your sensitive information, set sensitive money related what you do. That is username, password, the credit card details. All this will be sent. But without your you being knowing so it can be misused by someone else and badly hurt you viruses are viruses are man made they don't natur naturally occur they are not machine made these are just computer programs like you and me made ad.c like simple ad program or ad.python py so these are program and now we have somebody inserts a code also here and whenever this program runs this will also be run and you you understand addition is coming but that program has hurted you already that small code firewall is a type of okay the answer is it's it's not a virus worm security threat so let me tell you the answer here so this is a wall and with a fire so previously what would happen the you know big kingdom regime they would create a wall they will uh, have a trench or dig some trench here 
and then they will try to you know put fire here ignite fire here so if someone else is coming he has to deal with this fire and wall then only he can enter inside so fire wall wall is just a name to stop unwanted thing coming to your institution to your private network to your private institution data so this firewall is firewall can be hardware and software so it will it will take look take a look of all the incoming packets everything which is coming if it is fine if it is okay then only it will be allowed and also incoming and outgoing outgoing incoming both the data it will check and if it is it is okay then only it will send it further otherwise it will stop so it is basically you know stopping the bad things coming inside and going outside also unsolicited commercial email is known as these are spam means if you are going somewhere someone is coming and asking every time so you want to take it you want to take it you want to take it or someone will try to irritate you that is means someone will ask you for his business but you get irritated that irritated is what he is a spam for you some emails are coming again and again i'll give you my example i uh, seven eight years i took a bajaj you know finance i took a bike and then two years i prepaid the money and everything was finished but today also every time i get message email and phone call every time i get this from bajaj i have nothing to do with this bajaj finance but still i am getting it they, they do not understand you know i just requested every time so these are they were they are spams match the following this we have already discussed in our in query query session so i'll just make uh, you know very well now so i'll just match it these became very famous that is how we know the name virus is vazo vazo is a virus and worm is jerusalem jerusalem is a worm trojan horse is i love you then spyware is cool web search and spam is get rich quick scheme